Greetings, friends. Today we have a special topic on our agenda, ugly motorcycles. If you think that all motorcycles are beautiful and elegant, then you are deeply mistaken. The world is populated by a variety of two-wheeled monsters, and today we will show you the top 5 ugliest motorcycles in the world. Are you ready? First place Suzuki Madura, a 1980s model with a massive front wing and strange plastic fairings. Suzuki Madura is a cruiser model produced by Suzuki from 1985 to 1986. It was part of the Suzuki Intruder motorcycle series. Madura was available in two versions Madura 1200, GV 1200, and Madura 700, GV 700. Both models were equipped with V-shaped four-cylinder engines. The Suzuki Madara 1200 motorcycle had an engine capacity of 1,165 cubic centimeters, a power of 100 horsepower and a five-speed transmission. He was one of the most powerful motorcycles of his time. The Suzuki Madara 700 was more compact and had less power compared to the Madara 1200. Its engine had a volume of 699 cubic centimeters and developed a power of about 67 horsepower. Madara was distinguished by an unusual usual design, especially the front wing and fairings. They created a unique and extravagant appearance that made Madara recognizable on the roads. Second place Honda DN01. The appearance of this model evokes mixed feelings, with its huge front arc shape and a strange combination of styles. The Honda DN01 was one of the first motorcycles to offer a variable speed automatic transmission system, dubbed by Honda as Human Friendly Transmission (HFT). It was an innovative feature that allowed the driver to choose between manual and fully automatic gear shift modes. The Honda DN01 had a revolutionary design with a low seat and a long wheelbase, which provided an ergonomic fit and a comfortable ride resembling more the characteristics of a cruiser or a scooter than a conventional motorcycle. The DN01 was equipped with a 680cc liquid-cooled V-twin CHC engine, which was taken from the Honda Deville model and moderately modified. This motor provided smooth and stable operation, typical for touring motorcycles. The model was equipped with an anti-lock braking system ABS, and a combined braking system CBS which provided a high level of safety when braking in various road conditions. DN01 was introduced in 2009, but was not widely distributed due to the high cost and lack of a clear target audience. These factors led to the fact that the model was produced only for several years. Third place Dnepr MT-11, Soviet motorcycle model with large dimensions and asymmetrical design. The Dnepr MT-11 was based on military motorcycles manufactured by KMZ, but was adapted for civilian use. The history of the Dnepr brand, sometimes spelled as Dnieper or Dniepro, began during World War II, when the Soviet Union licensed the technology and design of the German BMW R71 motorcycle for use in its military motorcycles. The MT-11 was equipped with a 650 cubic centimeter engine, with a simple overhead valve OHV, which could reach speeds of up to 95 km per hour. The engine was designed for reliability and simplified repairs in the field, which made it popular in regions with bad roads. The MT-11 motorcycle is distinguished by the presence of a wheelchair drive and a rear wheel, which is rare in modern motorcycles. In the version for the civilian market, simplified components and a four-speed tree gearbox could be seen. Due to its simplicity and power, Nepra MT-11 and its variations were used not only by citizens, but also by postal services, police and even for agricultural needs. This motorcycle is also popular among fans of military equipment and motorcycles with sidecars. Today, the Dnepr MT-11 is a coveted object for collectors and enthusiasts of retro motorcycles. It is often restored for private use or demonstrations at specialized exhibitions of transport classics. In addition, Parts and spare parts for Dnepr motorcycles are still available thanks to a network of enthusiasts and specialized manufacturers. Fourth place Confederate P120 Fighter. Motorcycle with aggressive appearance, angular shapes and unusual wheel arrangement. The Confederate P120 Fighter has a unique industrial design that stands out for its minimalistic and raw lines. The frame of the motorcycle is made of high strength aluminum, which gives it visual lightness and at the same time provides high rigidity of the structure. From the heart of the motorcycle is a V-shaped engine with a volume of 120 cubic inches, approximately 1,966 cubic centimeters, capable of producing more than 160 horsepower with a maximum torque of about 135 pounds to foot, approximately 183 newton meters. Confederate motorcycles are usually produced in limited series, which makes each copy exclusive. The P120 Fighter is no exception, and its release is limited to a small number of copies, making it a rarity in the world of two-wheeled transport. Due to its exclusivity, manual labor and the use of innovative materials and technologies, the Confederate P120 Fighter belongs to the high price segment. Prices for such motorcycles can easily exceed $100,000. In addition to its impressive appearance and power, 
The P120 fighter is known for its dynamics and handling. A sporty fit, balanced suspension and powerful brakes ensure good handling even with an aggressive driving style. 5th place Yamaha VMAX, a model with a powerful engine, but strange shapes and a disproportionate design. The first VMAX was introduced in 1985 and was revolutionary in its approach to the design of a power-type motorcycle, Power Cruiser. The motorcycle quickly gained cult status for its bold appearance and powerful engine. Initially, the Yamaha VMAX was equipped with a water-cooled V-shaped four-cylinder engine with a volume of 1,198 cubic centimeters, which in subsequent models was increased to 1,679 cubic centimeters. This engine was famous for its amazing acceleration and created huge torque at low revs. One of the most unique aspects of the original VMAX was the V-Boost system, which increased engine power at high speeds through a special valve system that improves engine breathing. This gave the bike an impressive traction potential and a unique acceleration behavior. The Yamaha VMAX has not been updated often, and only a few generations of the model have been released over the many years of its production. The new generation of VMAX, which debuted in 2009, received a modern design and significantly improved technical content. The VMAX has become a cult symbol of strength and performance among motorcycle enthusiasts. It is often associated with extreme speeds over short distances, in particular, it is popular in drag racing, where its power and acceleration allow it to dominate quarter-mile races. That's it, friends. We have reviewed the top 5 ugliest motorcycles in the world. I hope our epic failures of designers will cheer you up. Don't forget to leave your comments about which one you found the ugliest, and, of course, share this video with your friends. See you in the next issue.